Huh? Wait, this... this is... Exactly what you see with your quirk. I've been working on this prototype in the last four years. This machine builds devices able to absorb traces of someone's quirk when touched. They instantly connect to someone's quirk unless you wear protective gloves to handle them. All those quirkless people struggling on a daily routine, unable to get jobs or make an honest living. This world is unfair. We were born in such a despicable society that unless you are like everybody else, then you are worth nothing. This invitation will make everyone equal. Finally. Don't you see? The world you intend to create is an unreachable utopia. No matter how noble your objective is, handling these devices can lead to something worse. Increase of criminality. Villains. Why would any of that be my problem? This is up to humanity how to use my creations. I am just offering a service that could be beneficial to individuals. Don't act so surprised, Insight. You knew all along what's behind this, didn't you? What excuse are you going to make this time? That you didn't want to see the truth? Listen, boy. Maybe it's time you shut the hell up. Do you want it the easy way or the hard way? Because I'm totally up for the hard way. <coughs> How about instead I hand you over a peace offering? Catch! Sorry, no accepting stuff from strangers. What? Alexi! Wait, don't! Catch! Are you insane? Throw it! Throw it right now! Uh, Nikita! Hmm. Come on, open up. I don't have all day. I know you're in there. I... Uh, got you snacks? Why are you lying to me? I don't hear any grocery bag. And you opened the door just to tell me this, so I still win. I was worried in sight. Are you? Just shut up and open the door. Uh. Christ, is this how you treat yourself when no one sees? When's the last time you cleaned? Well, I didn't expect to have gas, so apparently it's my new normal habitat. Can you stop joking around and be real with me, for once? What is happening to you? Uh, I... I am formally resigning as pro-hero. I quit. I am done, Alexei. Whoa, whoa, for real? You have nothing to blame yourself. I had no idea that device was that destructive. If you hadn't deflected it, I could have killed you while standing next to that guy. Huh? Are you trying to make me feel better? I am trying to state facts. Do you remember anything? I still feel a little fuzzy since then. I just remember the collapse of the building vaguely. The freeze cracked the whole establishment, falling to pieces. And none of the cult members had family, so no one will even bother to identify their corpses. They are in an unrecognizable mess. I... I see. But I definitely remembered one detail. You dragged me out of there while I was still regaining my senses. I owe you my life. Is it really a fair price all those lost lives for just mine? I feel like we are no longer talking facts, huh? Tell me something. The guy said you knew all along what he was doing. Was that true? I've been a fool. For once I refused to use my quirk and put blind trust in humanity. It bit me right back. I always felt something was wrong, but I deliberately chose not to. Why? Why did I do this? I'll take that as a yes. So I presume this is why he didn't think twice about gambling all our lives when he threw the device in my direction. He knew you were going to protect him? <sighs> he knew for sure I'm an idiot ready to compromise the mission to save his life. Apparently I felt doing that too. I can't do this anymore, Frost. All this mess in your life for this guy. I hope it was worth it. I'm not even sure anymore. He's gone, forever. Ain't that right? Who was he then? He... He was...